figure out a way to not be so angry because I wasn't as angry as I was hurt and dealing with what I consider to be a real situation. A lot of my songs are painful to people. People say that there's a lot of pain in the song. And I don't think pain is bad for me or for anyone. I think it's just a part of my life, mm -hmm. along with the good things. But I have a tendency to sing those songs and deliver those stories. I'm extremely nervous. I'm scared to death. I really am scared. I'm, I'm signing Hyman Phyllis. Please, it's Phyllis Hyman. It's Phyllis Hyman. If I had known what it was going to be like, I never would have gone into it. It's much harder. The sacrifices are much more extensive. The pain is greater. The stress is greater. I just thought it was all fun and games. Put a little makeup on, do your hair, you know, and go out and work. It's not like that at all. And getting into the business, I, my friends and neighbors uh, thought that I had a lot of talent and that I should use it to uh, make money. I had suffered for so many years, not not only because the industry forced certain things on me, but because I did not know how to say no. I did not know how to ask questions. I was petrified. I was I was intimidated. Mm -hmm. It's taken its toll on me because I've been real depressed. I won't deny that. Mm -hmm. That we have a record we've been sitting on. We work, we're on the road working, but we can't work as much as we normally would because we need a record. It's all it's that that whole that whole scenario yeah. that you have to go through. Whereas as an artist, I should just be able to go work and make music, but it's not yeah. like that. And I found the rec record business a little tough because the entertainment end is so small. You work, you're behind off for years and years and years, and, and you look back and you say, what do I have to show for? And um, the industry is, is full of loopholes and, and, and uh, gray areas that artists don't pay any attention to. Five-year-old Hyman was supposed to sing at the Apollo Theater tonight, but her assistant found her unconscious in her midtown apartment this afternoon. She died at a nearby hospital. Police say pill bottles and notes were found near Hyman's body. Jazz singer Phyllis Hyman, dead of an apparent suicide at age 45. But my songs reflect my inner feelings uh, about things and the pain. And I sing about pain real well. <laughs> <laughs> when they talk about bringing me love tunes, I say, no, no, give that to someone else. Give me the painful tunes. I can make that work. I can draw back. I can look back on prior experiences, and I'll make the fucking work. If it's about pain, let Phyllis do it. <laughs>